Okay, first thing I like for breakfast is porridge. We've got some nice big oats here. Got me a bowl, and one scoop of porridge. And that should do me for the day. Let's go. Go! One minute, 37 seconds later. Good morning, YouTubers. Okay, so I do actually carry this with me all the time, just for the extra safety. It's Saturday today, the kids are off school. They're still messing about inside the house. I'm gonna get on with work. So at the moment, I don't know if you can see in the background. Okay, so basically we've been um, cutting the trees down in this area over here for collecting the wood for next uh, year. So um, we've not had any problems overnight with the zombies or anything like this. So we're just gonna get on with the work and hopefully everything will be okay today. With the kids being off and everything, they're aware of what's going on. So we're just gonna see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna go and get my chainsaw and we'll just do a bit of uh, talking about the chainsaw as well. Great. So this is the chainsaw, okay? So this is, I've got three chainsaws. Three, three chainsaws, okay? This one's more lightweight. This is a one-handed one, so okay. So you're trying to get if something attached here, or you're chopping down a tree. You can always hold it, but you always have to be careful if you're going to hold the tree, okay, that you don't end up sliding and chopping your hand off, okay. But this is a one-handed chainsaw, basically, okay. So it's for climbing up trees and chopping things down off trees. But I don't really uh, climb up trees; far too dangerous. Okay, there's different little. Uh, we have, we can put, you put oil in here, that lubricates the chain, and then you've got your fuel, which is two stroke, which goes in this other bit. So anyway, there's a little mark here, so you turn it on, okay, and it's a, it's got a pull cord. Okay, so we're gonna be pulling it on the cord here. This is the choke, so you pull the choke out, so this is that little lever there. So you pull the choke out, and then you're gonna give it a little bit of gas. Okay, so all you do is just pump this about five times. Mine's actually got a little hole in it, which it still works if you keep your thumb on top. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so you're gonna keep the choke out. Okay, you're gonna keep the choke out whilst you start it, first of all. Now, I, I, this is a, it's got, with the handheld ones, it's got a, like a, th a button here that you can press. Okay, it's got a, but a button here that you can press to um, to keep the engine running all the time. So I usually keep that on to start with, keeping the uh, the choke pulled out, and I press this about five times. So, so that's that. So if you don't know, if you didn't notice, what happened was is I had the choke out, and once it had started. Give it a few seconds, then push the choke, push the, in the choke button back in. Okay, so when you pull the push the choke button back in, then it basically starts and keeps going then. So then you can just, next time you start it. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> oh, choke again a little bit. It's not warmed up enough yet. Explaining yesterday about coppicing, okay. So, this is a coppice stump, okay. So, this was a big hazel tree with big logs. So, what, what happens is, is it I cut it down right at the bottom, and what will happen is but what happens is, is all the, the when I cut a, a log like this all the way around the edge, little um, li, li, little twigs start coming up. So when you cut one stump, you might have about uh, five or six all around each stump, so it just multiplies and multiplies. So it's great. So in about another 10 years, I can cut this down and we'll have a lot more wood again. Uh, so we've got a massive big forest, you see. I'll just turn this camera around, show you. We've got a massive big forest, so 20 acres. So we've got plenty of wood. We won't cut this down this year. We've got plenty of wood to last us for a long time. Oh, hello, what's this? So oh, it's a zombie. Okay, as you can see, this zombie cannot get up this hill. Okay, I, um, I've got my axe out there ready, um, but it can't get up the hill, so um, I know there's no risk. But what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go around and down the bottom. It's too steep for me to go down here, and it's too steep 
for it to get up. Okay, got the, got the zombie. Okay, a bit tricky that one, but I got it, arms, legs, head, everything chopped off, discarded, okay? Back to work. Okay, so we're gonna make uh, some pizza bases. So. Okay, so what I do, I use two cups of water. Here we go, so we've got one cup of water. Perfect, just leave warm that is. I'm gonna put that on here. So I've got three packets of yeast. One of the things trouble living in France is you've got to have adapters for all your plugs when you lived in England. So sometimes there's not always adapter available. Zero zero flour, okay? So that means it's really really fine and really good for pizzas. And just start adding the, the uh, flour bit by bit, and it just sort of um, just sort of turns into a thick paste to start with. Add some olive oil just for an extra bit of lubricant. Perhaps a little bit of salt and pepper is entirely up to you, okay? Kneaded it forward and backward a few times with my hand. I'm going to stay the place. Um, so I'm going to cut it into three pieces then. People say, that, say don't roll it out, but I'm going to roll it out into three equal pizzas, okay? Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Oh, a zombie. Oh, it's gone past the house. What's it doing? Oh, it's not noticed me, has it? Knife. Okay, got that, got that. Anyway, back to the bread. So three equal pieces and uh, pizza, pizza, pieces. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, tune in tomorrow or whatever, perhaps not tomorrow, the day after and then we can catch up on exactly what's going on. Okay, thanks very much. Speak to you later. I know a place.